Welcome to Obo Run Channel, Obo here. Today, I'm gonna try a quick review on a product that I just got from a Costco yesterday. And it's this. Multifunctional Cooling Face Skater by Arctic Cool. I've never heard of this company before. I don't know what else they make. But like you see, I wear this type of buff or gator every day when I'm running. So I was just about to buy something and I was really interested in this type of cooling material. And I found this Mission gator a few weeks ago and I looked it up, but it was really expensive. It was like $20 a piece. So I was really kind of sitting and see. And yesterday I went to the Costco and then I found this and I was pretty happy that this comes with two gators and it was $19.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna unbox this and I will show you the product and I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna go for a four mile run and I'm gonna wet this because this is the cooling um, material. So it says, the more you sweat, the cooler it gets. So after a four mile run, we'll see how cool it gets. And I'm gonna wet this and see how cooler it gets. So I'm gonna unbox this. Well, it comes with black and simple gray. And that's it. And this one has UPF 50 plus some protection so it's pretty good and this one of course can be used for as a mask or a headband this one has a small logo on it and that's it pretty simple and it doesn't feel too thick it's kind of a spandex type of material and right off the bat I I noticed a difference, a big difference between the, the buff that I have and this. And that's the seam. There's a tough folded seams on either end. So we'll see how this feels on my forehead. So I'm gonna wear this. There are multiple ways to wear them but I have a couple of preferred way to wear them, so I'm gonna show you so my number one way is is the uh, I think it's a bandana style it's called so I'm gonna first flip this inside out and then I'm gonna grab like this either end and then I'm gonna flip this again so the logo side comes outside. This has a, a nice pocket that's for my head and then in the back there's a knot. So yeah that's why I have to wear a headband. So just like this. Alright so then it's got it's got the knot in the back and then this is the way I like it feels pretty good I kind of feel the seam being a little tight on my forehead but we'll see how we'll see how this feels over a four mile run I'm gonna run right now to a park that's four miles away and see how this feels all right let's go All right, yes, I just figured I should wear this as a mask or facial covering as well because uh, I have to be ready for the time when uh, our governor or mayor decides to uh, mandate everybody to wear a mask or facial covering during exercises. So uh, I wore this, I ran for about a mile and then this is very uncomfortable. I don't like it at all. Compared to other buff that I have, this is thicker 
and I can breathe still when I'm walking but as soon as I started to run and, and as soon as I started to breathe faster it just you know it gets sucked in my mouth and it, it's very uncomfortable also this is very bulky around my neck it's thicker um, this seam helps a little bit to to hold it on my nose but not too much around my neck it's pretty bulky bulkier than other buffs as well so and then it doesn't get cold at all it just warms up my neck which is not good as a runner you have to evaporate your sweat out of the neck skin so uh, this is pretty uncomfortable and I don't recommend wearing this when you're when you're running hard as a mask and this as a headband it's not bad it's actually pretty good this seam doesn't bother me at all uh, it's been four miles it didn't bother me at all and um, I don't know if this leaves a mark on my forehead but it doesn't feel too tight it's it's tight enough it's secured I feel secured so and then it didn't come off it didn't go up it was successful in holding my hair the coldness I didn't really feel coldness at all when I'm running and I think it's of course because my hairs don't have any sensory receptor so I don't feel cold but when I touch it when I touch it it, it kind of feels cool and it's kind of cool I figure when I wet it it gets cool and um, it feels pretty comfortable so let's uh, let's get it wet I'm gonna run to the water faucet I got this wet excuse my hairs apparently it was doing its job as a hairband holding these hairs here's a wet version on my skin it does feel cooler it's actually cool on my arms on my neck but I don't know if I want to still wear this during races marathon long distance running because it's just too bulky and heavy so it might not be for me during races around my neck how about my head I definitely need this on my head yep of course on my hairs I don't feel any coolness but where it's touching on the skin on my forehead it does feel a little cooler but again the biggest thing I notice is that this gets heavier so now it's pretty heavy so again I don't think I want to wear this being wet during races in conclusion I'm gonna still keep these I bought this at Costco yesterday so if you don't like it or if you don't feel like it's working as it's advertised you can always take advantage of their generous return policy but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna use them however I'm gonna use this as a regular headband I'm not gonna wear this around my neck because it's too bulky I'm just gonna wear this as it is as it's dried and after the race or after the run I'm gonna wet this and I'm gonna enjoy this coolness that's how I'm gonna enjoy if you like this video please like or please subscribe this channel stay tuned for the next English video of mine thank you aloha